This is a must have lens for 2023. And a 16 to 35 millimeter focal length. Why is it the best? Let's just, let's go right into it. Let's just go with the fact that, you know, it goes out to 35. So 35 millimeters is a very popular focal length for uh, portraits, full body portraits, for photographers who uh, photograph weddings. This is, um, 35 is a very good focal length and I like it because it gives you a little bit of insight on where the image is taken. So it does show you the environment, but it also uh, kind of keys in on the subject a little bit more. Uh, but then when you open all the way up to 16, then you are in a, another territory, which is really cool because you can get more landscape, you can get more interior, like full interiors. If you are shooting a wedding and you are um, kind of wide at 16 millimeters, during a prep, I like to get these shots of the bride and her bridesmaids. Um, most of the time, my back is like literally against the wall and anything more than 16 millimeters, even if it's 24 at times, definitely 35, you know, I'm stuck, I'm trapped. I don't, I can't get the full scene. So 16 millimeters gives me that. Uh, equally, you know, at ceremonies, there's a, a number of different shots that I use with this lens at 16 millimeters that I can't get with any other lens. It's, it's almost impossible, especially if you're at a, you know, a ceremony that is large and, and has a lot of great architecture, um, you know, ceremony spaces that you know, you really want to show off the space as well as the subjects. You know, I stand in the back and I take shots with the 16 and 35 at 16. Um, equally, at a wedding, wedding receptions on a dance floor. You know, when you have a lot of people on a dance floor, sure, you can use a 24 millimeter, that's fine. But to capture the essence of everything happening, uh, multiple people in one frame, in one photo, the 16 to 35 does it for me. Um, the drawback with this lens, if that's what you really want to call it, I guess, is that it only stops down to f4. Uh, the way that I shoot now, uh, I primarily am not trying to shoot everything wide open at 1.8, 1.4, or anything like that, because I find that, you know, having those isolated shots where the subject is there and there's a lot of background separation, it's beautiful for portraits, it really is. But I don't try to overdo it because there's a lot of context that still needs to be included in your images. And I think that's what really draws people in. People want a story. And this is probably the best storytelling lens you can find. So if you're a wedding photographer, you know, it's really difficult not to have this lens uh, included in your wedding kit. It's really opened my eyes to the possibilities of photography. And I always found myself with the 50 millimeter for most of the things that I do. It doesn't really tell the story like this 16 to 35. You really have to think about versatility. And if you're a wedding photographer, um, like using primes, you know, it's cool. I love it. I've been doing it for years. But there's a certain element to having um, a focal length that goes from one end to the next over just one focal length because you're going to miss shots. You are. You're going to miss shots when you have a prime. But when you have a zoom, the ability to move back and forth as well as zoom in and out is just, you know, unmatched. With the growth of smartphones, and being able to take wide photos uh, on your iPhone or your Android device, um, which I mean, you should have a you should have an iPhone, but you know, if you if you have another phone, I guess that's cool too. But um, to be able to to take wide photos is, is a really great thing. And um, with the image quality that comes out of this 16 to 35 power zoom, this lens is one that I'll use primarily. Uh, for a lot of the work that I do, and I do events, I do weddings, those are like my primary things, but I also do photo shoots uh, and portraits with uh, models and things of that nature as well. Um, but I found this to be probably the lens that I'm gonna use the most. Uh, I find it hard to find something that replaces it. Um, there's always the 12 to 24, but Portraits at 24 is different from 35, and if you're 16 to 35, you have the option to zoom in to 24. And I don't think I need to go as wide as 12, but 
you know, pick up this lens for sure. Link is in the description below. If you like the video, like the video, sub, show some love, and um, yeah, I'll catch you all definitely on the next video.